Okay, here's a hardcore fact for any Mac user. All the top tier uh, experts uh, with Apple computers, they don't use time machines. None of us do. I swear to God, absolutely everybody at Apple in tech support in the top tier rooms where we have discussion boards, it's actually a room called the water cooler. We don't use time machine. We use bootable clones and we uh, back up our uh, file separately. Now, here's a neat little trick called sandboxing. Right now, I'm running uh, an older version of Mac OS on this older Mac Mini, which is one of my favorite computers. I'm going to upgrade it to the latest operating system. Right now, this is four operating systems behind. Now, people think, well, you know, if I have an issue when I actually upgrade my system, I can just roll it back with Time Machine. Really, really bad idea. So, what do actually the professionals do? Right now, I actually have a blank hard drive, of which I've got hundreds. I'm cloning my entire system using SuperDuper, which is a free application. And then what I'll do is once it's done cloning, it will show it down here. I go to System Preferences, Startup Disk. It will show the second hard drive right here next to my native hard drive. I will click on that hard drive, and then I'll click Restart. The system will boot up, but since it's an external hard drive, um, it'll boot up really slow since the hard drive is external to the computer itself. Not really, really slow. Then I'll update the operating system. And I'll check all my applications to make sure they're working okay. If I have an issue, it doesn't matter because all I'll have to do then is restart and my system will be com completely fine. Because I'll be operating off of another external hard drive to verify that all changes and all applications work perfectly. It's called sandboxing. Why would I want to mess with my system? I'm going to clone my system, which is what I'm doing now. Then I will start up from that cloned hard drive, which is externally connected to my computer right now, over here. See right over here? There's a naked hard drive in this dock hooked to my computer. And I will boot from that and then I will sandbox all my changes, including a newest operating system, make sure all my applications work correctly. Why would I want to mess with my system? No, not Time Machine. The hardcore, the hardcore pros doing Mac tech support, we don't use Time Machine. We don't. I don't care if you don't believe it or not, it's a fact. So anyway, there's a tip of the day, sandboxing. Saves you time, saves you hassle, saves you aggravation. It's easy, it's fast, it's safe. And if you have an issue uh, with the changes you made, just erase the hard drive because you'll be booting off of the external hard drive. You won't be operating off your computer's internal hard drive. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.